Hey guys, what's up? On today's video, you will learn what reused content is and how to keep your channel safe and monetize. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Nold and welcome to Freedom Quick Tips, where we discuss important topics such as channel's best practices, YouTube policies, and whether we think that National Puppy Day should be a thing. Yes, a thousand times yes. Now, something less cute, but no less important in reused content. What is it and why should you care? Well, if you'd like to keep or want a piece of that sweet, sweet YouTube ad revenue, you should care since reused content is part of YouTube's channel monetization policies. That means that if you want to stay or get in the YouTube Partner Program, your channel should avoid reused content. Now that we've established the why, let's address the what. YouTube says that reused content refers to channels that repurpose someone else's content without adding significant original commentary or educational value. Sounds simple enough, right? Plainly put, that means taking any content that you didn't create yourself and using it in your video without adding anything to it like your own voice commentary or changing it in any significant way. But Freedom, what about the content that I have license for? I hear you asking. Great question. You are as intelligent as you are attractive, my friends. While having the required license to not original content, whether audio, video, or both is important, the license alone is not enough for you to monetize said content. At least not as far as the YouTube Partner Program is concerned. An important side note, reuse content is separate from YouTube's copyright policy, which means that you need to make sure your channel is compliant with both. Right, then, but as anybody who's spent any time on YouTube would know, there are tons of channels that use content that isn't their own in their videos. You've got movie review channels, reaction channels, news channels, and so on. Surely they're not all just uploading videos for our entertainment purely out of the goodness of their hearts. Well, the key to using third-party content in your videos in a way that can be monetized is in adding something uniquely of your own, which again can be your own original commentary like what we're doing right now, such that the resulting video is different enough that it cannot be mistaken for the original and that people would want to watch it because of what you've added. A great example of this is the channel History Buffs. Nick reviews historical movies and provides his original insights in the form of voice commentary. Riveting stuff if I do say so myself. Channel links are in the descriptions below. While you could probably find clips of the movie, he reviews it in other parts of YouTube or the movie itself in YouTube movies. You would have to watch his videos to get his own unique take. If you're wondering, here are some quick examples of reused content that is not allowed by YouTube for monetization. Number one, clips of moments from your favorite show edited together with little or no narrative whatsoever. Number two, short videos you compiled from other social media websites. Number three, collection of songs from different artists even if you have their permission number four content uploaded many times by other content creators number five promotion of other people's content even if you have permission so guys just to recap reuse content means using someone else's content without changing it enough with your own material that it becomes its own unique thing and should be avoided if you want your channel to be or remain monetized Hope that helps. Please don't forget guys to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell icon. Ask any questions you may have in the comment section below and let us know as well if you like puppies as much as we do. And once again guys, my name is Nolt and this has been Freedom Quick Tips. See you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.